So before we actually start creating the user, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to change how all this stuff happens uh, based off of the cart itself. Um, so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be grabbing the cart object first and see if the cart ob object exists. If it doesn't exist, then we'll create a brand new order object. Um, so excuse me, you create the order object, see if it exists based off of the cart, and then if it doesn't, then we'll create an or order object. So we'll go try and we'll say new order equals to order dot objects dot get and that's going to be cart equals to cart and we're going to run the exception of order does not exist and this is where we'll create the order uh, mainly because we have some issues here with possibly well if we look at our model uh, we see that we have a default here of ABC and but a unique equals to true. Now, if we if we run into some issues or errors with actually creating this order, we might get another default and then we're gonna get this thing saying that um, the order ID column has to be unique. So what I'm doing now is I'm saying, okay, if, if there's one that exists, then let's grab that one based off of the cart in the session. If there's one, if it doesn't exist, then we'll create one. And we'll do that by doing new order equals to order and cart is equal to cart. And then new order equals to uh, new order dot user equals to request dot user. And then new order dot order ID is now gonna be that ID generator. And then we'll say new order dot save okay so what this did is it's it's gonna try and get the cart uh, or the order based off of the cart and if the order does not exist then it's gonna create one and it doesn't actually create it until we run save here so what we see here is actually creating a new instance of it but it's not actually saving an instance so if I did this so cut that out and paste it here uh, this still works it's it's basically like saying this, right? So it's basically like saying this here, but the main difference being is order.objects.create actually creates it and saves it based off of the arguments that we put in here. So if I don't put any arguments in or if I don't wanna save it right away, I can create a new instance, which is what this does. So that's an instance of order and then I add the different attributes I want to add, and then I save it, right? So that is actually probably a better way than what we did here. And um, so now I can just delete all this stuff. All right, so we still have some other functions that we'll still need to do, but this at least allows me to have this order, and then I can just do accept. Um, let's just say uh, I'll return us back to the cart. Um, for now, and we, we should work on um, some error message here at some point, because we haven't actually started doing any messages really um, on this view. So uh, now that we have this, we have our try, we should get our new order and all that. So let's actually go and try it out. I'm going to log into the admin, or actually log out of the admin, and then go back in, go to my product, add it to the cart. Now I have it in the cart, go to checkout, uh, it says can't it assign, uh, must be a user instance. So um, right here, this request.user, uh, we might actually have to grab the user object itself. Um, so uh, in, in this case, we're getting request.user and it looks as if the request.user is not grabbing the instance of the user. It says anonymous user, right? So it needs to be a user, an actual user. So this is where that login part really makes a big difference, right? So anonymous user cannot be assigned um, to a foreign key relation like this. It, that's where we got this error. So cannot assign anonymous user, order.user must be a user instance, where anonymous user is not a user instance, it's strictly an anonymous user. Um, okay, so that means we want to bring in this required user uh, login, and it's just a decorator. So what we will do is from Django.contrib.auth.decorators import login required. 
All right, and I'm actually gonna move this above the R, keep it in alphabetical order there. All right, and then now all we have to do here is add at the at sign and log in required. So that makes this view being a user actually has to log in to see this information. So we go back into the checkout uh, and if I spell Django correctly, that might help. So Django.contrib.auth, we refresh and we see that it's actually redirecting me to actually log in. So now we can not check out unless we log in. Um, so if I go back, I logged in now, still have the same cart going. And if I hit checkout, it actually takes me to this checkout and that works out pretty well for us. Um, okay, great. So that's where we're leaving the checkout part of stuff now. Uh, it's nice and refactored for us to the point where we have login required as well as just a better um, order creator or order generator than what we had just a moment ago. All right, so in the next one, we'll actually start to create the user auth models and associate the Stripe ID. All right, we'll see you in the next one.